Como, como estas, everybody? Como estas? Welcome to a vlog about about trucking. This you're if you're looking for a place, if you're looking for a, a channel to for looking at vlogs about trucking, boy, have you come to the right place. This is it. This this is what we do here, everybody. Trucking vlogs. And today I'm starting another trip. Uh, going to Colorado, actually Colorado, but also a lot of places nearby. I, I think this delivery has like five drops. I'm delivering plants to Colorado, so think of that what you want. I have a refrigerated trailer. I carry uh, refrigerated loads nowadays, mostly fruits and vegetables, sometimes live plants that are in the soil, which is what I'm carrying now. dirty windshield I don't know what a lot of bugs out there fellas uh, anyway I made it to Salt Lake City Utah some good I did some good miles today guys all right not gonna lie uh, yes long day I go to sleep now and uh, see you tomorrow for the first delivery very nice Well, you can't start the day off properly without some good coffee. Oh, look at that. Look what I accidentally found in my truck. Not an accident. Look at the sticker is all beat up from sitting up there. Um, but yeah, I brought my coffee stuff. So I'm gonna make some French press this morning. And you know, just get the day started correctly, guys. You know, with a pack of vibrant beans. All right. This is how you make coffee in a truck, specialty coffee style. Just eyeball. How much coffee you want? That much? Or more? You want more? You want this much? You don't need a scale. Get out of here with your fancy scale. Damn, look at that. That's some good looking coffee. Close your gosh darn lid. Alright, let's see what I've done. Might be a little too uh, fine for French press. Oh man, that smells so damn good. I gotta say, man, it's still one of my favorite scents on this planet is freshly ground coffee. Oh man, that's crazy good. All right, dump that sucker in here. Don't pay it no mind. It don't matter. Don't overthink it. Extra fine cake. This is a cheap grinder, man. All right. Well, I brought in, I brought some water from inside the the, uh, the truck stop. I'm gonna see. I'm just gonna pour that sucker in there. I'm not gonna do it the correct way. It don't matter. I'm in a truck. We don't mess around. But I am very curious to see how this is gonna turn out. To be honest. Pour a little water in there. Hey, that don't look too bad. Right on. That looks pretty good. I think it's time for the lid. Get that sucker up. Oh, forgot about the scoop. That's right, we gotta do this. Oh, this is a terrible scoop. You know what, I'm gonna stir it with this end of it. Okay now, what you want to do next is uh, 
stir it up just a little bit. Get that top crust off, you know what I'm saying? Just let it fall on in like that, that's alright. It's gonna be alright. You're gonna catch it all the way at the bottom there. Look at that. Oh, would you look at that science go to work. Mm. It was all up top till it touched it. Then it went on, it all went down. It's just gonna collect up down here, you know. And that's alright. That's just science, you know. Oh, look at this cream. Actually, it's not that good. People think cream is good, but not here. This is bitter. As bitter as your heart. Alright. I think it's time for the beast. Alright. There's, there's the front. These little grills right here. And we're just gonna sink this sucker in there like that. Just gonna set it up. You know, making coffee in a truck would be a lot easier if I didn't have to hold a camera. <laughs> Alright, here it goes. Here's the plunge. There it is. It's happening. Look at that. Screening process. Bam. Done deal, baby. She is good to go. Look at that beautiful bag of coffee, everybody. Now, I know what you're thinking to yourself. You're thinking, Vasily, man. That looks really good. Why are you teasing me? Where, where can I possibly... Look at that beautiful reflection. Where can I possibly get one of these suckers? <laughs> well, it's your, it's your lucky day. You know what I'm saying? You're lucky you ask because I happen to know that VibrantBeans.com is, is where these two young, handsome gentlemen from San Diego, uh, you know, they make this stuff, you know. And that, you know, that happens to be me, one of those handsome gentlemen, if I do say so myself. All right, I'm hitting the road. Well, would you look at that? People are getting out of their cars. It's a good old fashioned traffic jam, ladies and gentlemen. And we are standing still and have been that way for a while. The good news is the scenery could not be more pretty. I mean, look at this river flowing as a river does. Pretty cool. Uh, I like the scenery. I'm, I don't like the fact that I'm less than 30 minutes away from my delivery and uh, I'm standing still, but uh, hey, what, 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 what are you gonna do? You know, when life, when life uh, throws a traffic jam at you, uh, you, at least you could be thankful that it's not in the middle of uh, LA and instead in the middle of these beautiful Colorado uh, uh, mountains here. I'll take it. Okie dokes. Uh, delivering out of nursery. Actually, these are all delivering out of nursery. They're plants. Genius mode. Um, beautiful plate. Holy cow. Out in the middle of the Colorado mountains over here. Beautiful place. Like, huge mountains and then green meadows in between. And this happens to be a nursery where they grow... Uh, plant. They grow flowers here. Beautiful place, wonderful place. I didn't want to do a whole lot of filming because it's kind of rude. These people are very nice. Uh, it's rude to just film, you know. So, uh, you know, it sucks. I couldn't show a whole lot, but man, this place is great. It's, it's 
starts get get me thinking about moving out to the country, living a simple life. Sometimes I just go, you know what? Forget all this ruckus and action and chaos in the city. These people seem happy, you know. But maybe they're not. We're all good at playing. We're all good at acting. You know how that goes. Anyway, what am I talking about? Uh, the rest of my deliveries are tomorrow, so today I'm going to get close to Denver because that's where my next delivery is. And then I'm just going to chill for the rest of the day. Edit a vlog, maybe? Perhaps. I'm at my fifth and last delivery uh, for this load. It was five nurseries, basically five little farms with dirt roads and very tight spaces. Some of them made me nervous. I was like, are you, are you guys sure you want me to go here? Is there a way out of here? <laughs> uh, but it's been interesting. I, I haven't been filming a lot because there's a bunch of people walking around everywhere, you know, and it's, I, I find it rude to just film in front of people you know um, but they're basically just little farms little uh, nurseries I guess is what what they call them, where they take care of different kind of plants and flowers and such and uh, they're working on it right now they're unloading um, and I should be done after that uh, I'm just gonna be I guess waiting on a load to go back to Sacramento from the Denver area, from the Denver region. Um, right now, I'm, I think I'm south of Dan Denver in Franktown, which is maybe like 45 minutes south of Denver, I wanna say. Anyway, yeah, gonna, gonna just be chilling in Denver, I suppose. I think I'm gonna go back up there and get some fuel. 